Here we go, Lesson 37, Part B. This is our second, sec our second part of Section 11.1 .1 Parabolas, and this wraps up our discussion. And just to review again, uh, parabola has a vertical axis. It has the base formula of x squared equals 4py. That means it either opens up or down. On the parabola that's a horizontal axis, it has the base formula of y squared equals 4px. It opens right or left. These both have vertices at the origin. If we want to move the vertices, to h comma k, then we simply have x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k for the vertical uh, parabolas, opening up or down, or y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h for the horizontal parabolas, opening right or left. So here's our first question. Uh, find a, the standard uh, equation of the parabola shown in the figure. Find a standard of form. So we have a vertices, it's opening down, and they've given us a point of 3 negative 1. So the first thing I do is write the base equation, and I write x squared equals 4py, because this is a vertical, it's opening down. I know the 4p is going to be negative, I know there's an h and k here that's not the origin, but the, I always write this first to get me thinking in the right direction. So then I put the vertice in there, x minus 1, y minus 2, and what I'm missing is the 4p. Well that's what the, where the point comes in. I'm going to let x equal 3, let y equal negative 1, I'm going to plug it in there for x and y, I'm going to solve for 4p. I'm not going to solve for p. Uh, there's no reason to. I want to solve for 4p. So let's see what happens. So 3 minus 1 squared is 4. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. I divide by negative 3, and 4p comes out to be negative 4 thirds. I'm done. It's x minus 1 squared equals negative 4 thirds y minus 2. Don't try to force the 4p to be negative. Don't write that as a negative 4p. If you do everything correctly, 4p will turn out to be negative. Also notice I didn't solve for p. They didn't ask for the focus. Had they asked for the focus, I would have solved for p, and I would have subtracted that from uh, the vertices. But they didn't ask for that. They asked for the equation, and I needed 4p. So there was no sense solving for p and then turning around and multiplying it by 4. Just cut out the middleman and solve for 4p. We did it. Let's move on. Same question. Uh, now it looks like we have a horizontal uh, parabola, and it's opening left. Uh, we have a vertice and we have a point. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the standard form of the equation. So y squared equals 4px, and I'll say it again, I know 4p is going to end up being negative. Don't write negative 4p. If you do everything properly, it'll turn out to be negative all by itself. So just like I did last time, I plug in the h and the k, but be careful here that the, the, the k is 2, so it's y minus 2 and x minus 3. Students will sometimes go left or right, and they'll have y minus 3 here, so be careful with that. It's y minus 2, x minus 3, I need to solve for 4p, so I'm going to plug in the point. So the 5 went in for y, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9, the 0 went in for x, and again, don't go left or right, be careful, x with x, y with y. And my 4p comes out to be negative 3, and I'm done. y minus 2 squared equals negative 3, x minus 3. Solve for 4p, and you've wrapped it up. All right, what do we got about this one? They give us a focus at 3, 0, and a directrix x equals negative 1. My suggestion is always to graph them. You'll be surprised how easy you find the vertices if you simply graph it out. And that's really all we need is the vertices. We can count over and get p, and then we can multiply by 4, and we're done. So I put in the line x equals negative 1. There's my directrix going up and down there. My focus is 3, 0. That's on the x-axis. So my vertice has to be halfway between the directrix and the focus. And if you look, there's 4 units between the focus and the directrix. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I'm going to mark 2 units off, and that puts me at 1, 0. So my vertice is at 1, 0. I open to the right because it, the, the parabola has to go around the focus. That tells me this is horizontal means it's y squared equals 4px, that's my base equation. My vertex is 1, 0, so it's x minus 1, y minus 0. And then you look, we know p. We want, it's only two units from the vert vertice to the focus, or from the vertice to the directrix, but we'll just go vertice to focus. That's two units, that's p. So 4 times p is 8, that wasn't the toughest calculation in the world. And I'm done. Now I don't write y minus 0 squared, I write y squared. So y squared equals 8 times the quantity x minus 1. We did it. Moving on. Uh, it's a similar problem. Uh, the focus is 0, negative 6, and the directrix, though, is y equal 2. So that's the directrix going right to left. So again, I'm going to sketch the focus. I'm going to sketch the directrix. And I know that the vertice has to be halfway between the two. 
So the focus is down there on the y-axis at 0, negative 6. The directrix is up there above the x-axis at y equals 2. Those are 8 units apart. Therefore, I'm going to walk up 4 units, and I'm going to find my vertice. And again, the vertice has to be halfway between the two. So if I go up 4 units, I'll be at 0, negative 2. And it has to open down because it has to go around the focus. So I know this is going to be x squared equals 4py. That's my base and I know my vertices is at 0, negative 2. So I put 0 in for h, and I put minus and minus 2. I put 2 there for the k. And I know that if I walk 4 units down, I have my p. It's only 4 units from the vertice to the focus. So if that's 4, you can write negative 4. You can do 4. You can put the negative in later if you want to. But I put negative 4 in there. 4 times 4, negative 4 is negative 16, because I need 4p, and I'm done. Again, I don't write x minus, I don't leave it as x minus 0 squared. I write x squared equals negative 16, y plus 2. Sketch it out, find the vertice, get your base equation, and then you just have to find h and k and get them in the right spot. Count the units from your vertice to your focus, times it by 4, and I had to have a negative because it was opening down. Down and to the left is negative, up and to the right is positive. Now this time we give you the vertex and the focus, and so that's not bad at all. So negative 1, 3, and negative 1, 2, and you know it's opening up because it has to go through the vertices and it has to wrap its arms around the focus, and you can know your base equation. You can count how far it is from the focus to the vertex, and that gives you P. So x squared equals 4PY is our base equation. I'm going to go x plus 1 squared equals 4P x plus 3. P is 5, that's the distance from the vertex to the focus. Multiply it times 4, I get 20. X plus 1 squared equals 20. X plus 3. There you go. Well, here's one. Vertex at the origin. Well, that's nice. 0, 0. Symmetric with the y-axis. That means you could fold it over the y-axis, and it's passing to the point 6, 3. If it's symmetric to the y-axis, that means it has to be x squared. It has to be vertical. So I sketch it out. And it has to be opening up because it said it's symmetric with the y-axis. It could have been open to the, to the right had they not told us that. But that's the only way your vertice can be at the origin, passing through the point 6, 3, and symmetric with the y-axis. So our base equation is x squared equals 4py. And actually, it is x squared equals 4py because we have 0, 0 for our vertice. I'm going to let x equal 6. I'm going to let y equal 3. And I'm going to solve for 4p. Not the most difficult math. 6 squared is 36. Divide that by 3, and I have 4p to be 12. And I'll say it again. I'm not solving for p and then turning around and multiplying it by 4. I need 4p for my equation. Just solve for 4p. All That's all I needed. So x squared equals 12y. We're done. Look at that. 12 is positive. It's opening up. We can kind of predict that. Moving on. And our last example, vertex is at 3, negative 2. Axis is parallel with the x-axis, and the y-intercept is 1. And that's just kind of a neat way of saying there's a point, 0, 1. Sketch it. Always sketch it, because that will give you your base equation and get your mind thinking in the right direction. So the vertice is 3, negative 2. The axis is parallel with the x-axis, and it's going through the point, uh, 0, 1. So that means it has to be opening left. So our axis is parallel with the x-axis, not symmetric to it. Our base equation is y squared equals 4px. I put in the vertices. y plus 2 squared equals 4px minus 3. And then I'm going to plug in that point 0, 0,1, and I'm going to solve for 4p. So I'm careful to match the x with the x. So 0 goes in there where the x is at, and the 1 goes in for the y. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Divide by negative 3. And 4p comes out to be negative 3. And we're done, because we have y plus 2 squared equals negative 3, x minus 3. Don't try to force the 4p to be negative. Look, it worked out fine. Just write 4p, plug and chug, everything will work out. That wraps up this lesson. This concludes lesson 37. Get to work on the homework.